The Guilty star Jake Gyllenhaal is no stranger to awkward situations. A highly respected actor, with three decades of acting experience under his belt, engaging in uncomfortable scenes is actually one of Gyllenhaal's specialties. Whether it is breaking down in front of a therapist in Donnie Darko or portraying a morally questionable video journalist in Nightcrawler, Gyllenhaal has no qualms embodying the gloom-ridden, which would have most actors quivering in their boots. Not Gyllenhaal, he's just that good. Gyllenhaal has even parlayed his talents into other realms of cinema. In the 2002 film The Good Girl, the actor starred alongside Jennifer Aniston in the critically acclaimed comedy drama. The film follows Gyllenhaal as Holden, an aloof retail worker who soon enters into an affair with his married co-worker Justine, played by Aniston. As is the case with most on-screen relationships, the occasional love scene just comes with the territory, whether the actors are completely comfortable with each other or not. In an October 2021 appearance on The Howard Stern Show, Gyllenhaal got candid about his intimate on-screen experiences with Aniston nearly two decades after the release of The Good Girl. It was a time the actor described as, quote, torture. But why would Jake Gyllenhaal say so about his experience with a lovable star like Jennifer Aniston? In his interview with Stern, Gyllenhaal opened up about his experiences filming intimate love scenes with Aniston for the film. With the film's whirlwind storyline, love scenes were par for the course, and both Gyllenhaal and Aniston are professionals with lots of acting experience. You'd think they'd have no problem with making the intimate moments work, but according to Gyllenhaal, it was all a strange mix of emotions. When Stern asked if the intimate scenes were torture for him, Gyllenhaal responded, Oh yeah, it was torture. Yes, it was. Yes. But it was also you, not torture. I mean, come on. It was like a mix of both. Gyllenhaal went on to explain the awkward nature of shooting any love scene in the first place, which is made all the more complicated by dozens of people in the film's crew watching as you try to make it all look realistic. The actor also referred to the love scenes as, quote, oddly mechanical comparing them to learning how to do a dance or a fight scene on film. It's all, quote, choreographing for a camera. But that doesn't mean Gyllenhaal's experience with Aniston was entirely negative. From Friends to Bruce Almighty to Horrible Bosses, Aniston has a track record of embodying every role she takes on with professionalism and grace. On top of that, her stunning beauty has left many jaws dropped over the course of her career, including that of Jake Gyllenhaal. In a 2016 interview with People magazine, years after they made The Good Girl together, Gyllenhaal was asked what it was like to work with Aniston. His response was somewhat peculiar, as he jokingly described Aniston as, quote, a rough one, and went on to call the actress, quote, hard to compliment. Then Gyllenhaal let slip that, like a lot of young men who grew up watching her on Friends, he developed a little crush on her, as he told People, I will say, uh, have had had a crush on her for years. Gyllenhaal went on to say that working with Aniston was not hard and was, quote, lovely. Gyllenhaal's comments eventually made their way back to Aniston herself, who was interviewed by Extra in 2016, shortly after her former co-star's own interview about their work together. When asked if she saw Gyllenhaal's comments about their time making The Good Girl, Aniston confirmed that she had heard about his crush and called it, quote, adorable, probably because it wasn't the first time she'd heard something like that from another celebrity. Aniston then went on to wonder aloud if Gyllenhaal was still harboring those feelings for her. Aniston's Horrible Bosses co-star Jason Sudeikis, who was sitting next to her for the interview, chose that moment to respond with a perfectly timed joke. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Why is he bringing it up now? <laughs> We might never know, but maybe it's not too late for Gyllenhaal's crush to pay off. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.